Good evening ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Bear Beer Review. Uh, tonight we're heading back to my favourite Scottish breweries. It's another beer by Brewdog. I seem to be uh, working my way through their entire back catalogue of beers and uh, I think my life goal is probably to try everything they've ever created or die trying. Which is probably more likely considering this is a 10% beer and this is Coco Psycho. This is the Imperial Russian style brewed with chocolate, or sorry, said cocoa nibs and coffee. Uh, I mean, there's not much to say, this is going to be a big bad boy, uh, it's going to have that extra little chocolate note to it, it's going to have an extra bit of bitterness from the coffee, uh, and I must say I am looking forward to this one wholeheartedly, except for the fact that I've lost my beer at my bottle opener, which is there, we found it. So let's crack it open and give it a try, I mean I told you everything you need to know about Brewdog, they've just got the new uh, Ellen facility open, the new um, brewery facility just outside of Aberdeen as opposed to Fraserburg. Um, and this has been a staple for a few years now. I was going to age this a bit longer actually, just because I kind of felt like it, but then I realised, you know what, sometimes an Imperial Stout stays you in the face and you've got to give it a try. So, I mean, good God, look at that colour. Look at that colour. Pitch black, dark as the night. Lovely, super deep milk chocolate head on it. I mean, you couldn't call that tan, that is. That is very, very tan. That is two weeks in the Mediterranean tan. Not on me, I, I go pink. I go completely pink. And I can smell it already, even when I pop the lid, you saw all the you saw all the smoke come off the top of it, I can smell it already. So let's get a nose in there and give it a smell, guys. Oh. Mm. oh, it's absolutely glorious. My god. Oh you can see yeah, it's just gets humongous, massive notes of dark, dark, dark chocolate, of a rich Oh, rich roasted coffee and and kind of smoky sweetness. Oh, it's it's absolutely zinging with aroma. It really is. And it all coming from that head. I mean, look how lovely and thick and juicy that head is. This is a ten percent beer, but look at that. It's like thick as you know. It, it just you could you could I could sit on that. I could sit on that head and it won't go away. Oh my God, this is this is super intense and distilled. It really is. The smell on this. Absolutely ridiculously strong. Oh, I mean, malt monster through and through. Right, no more time for words. Let's get in there and give it a try. Cheers. If I was to marry a beer, I think it might possibly be this beer. Good lord. Good lord. You get just chocolate in absolute unadulterated abundance. This sweet milk chocolatey flavour. You get full blown roasted coffee that just rips the crushy tongue and it, it drags across it with this that scorbit bitterness. That bitterness that just drenches your entire tongue, but the, the malty sweetness stays at the same time, so you get this super sweet chocolatey flavour, and you get this super bitter coffee and roast flavour, and over the top of it all you get a sweet roasted barley flavour, a kind of semi-meaty, semi... yeah, semi-meaty sort of flavour. Um, the mouthfeel on this is tremendous as well, it's, it's, it's thick and it's heavy and it's chunky, the carbonation is nice and prevalent and strong, and, and sips across the tongue and fizzles all the way around your mouth. And the warmness across the belly is something stupendous as well. 10% and it's warming me right up. It's been a freezing few days here in England. I mean, really horrible rain, sleet, everything. And this is just warming the cockles of my soul. But like, good lord, this is this is ridiculously good, it really is, it's so full of, oh, oh, it's, it's just, <laughs> I'm almost lost for words, and this doesn't happen very often, because I, I tend to spew, like mouth spew repeatedly, until I come to some kind of conclusion, but I've had a few of these big boys over the past few days, because I've just really felt like trying some beers that are going to knock my palate for six, and each one of them has really shone through and, and has been superb in its own right 
and, and this and this beer in particular, it just it is just so intense. It really is. I said it in the other videos as well. I'm sure, but this is just you, you cannot get away from the flavour that is in this beer. It just grabs you by the tongue and it wriggles your tongue. It holds in its hand and it wrenches it around your mouth for a while, and then you still sat there about ten minutes later going, <laughs> and it's black as well. It's dyed my tongue black. That's how good this beer is. Oh, that, that nice head that I said I could sit on has kind of gone away a bit now, but hey, oh, it's fine. Mm. It's like... <laughs> it really is just like... Like going into a major brand of coffee. Let's just say, let's go into Starbucks and you order a mocha frappuccino with a quadruple shot of whiskey in it. And that's what you're getting here. It's, um... It's blooming gorgeous. It really is. Uh, you know, you know, I always like brew them, but I always have. And no matter what the bad press stuff you hear about them, they produce bloody stonking good beers. Really produce some excellent beers, and Coco Psycho is up there with the best of them for sure. It really is. Go out and give it a shot. Uh, this is an easy 9.5. I mean, really easy. This this is another one of those beers that's pushing, pushing me to kind of go 9.75. I'm still not going for a 10 yet, nowhere near that, but this is absolutely stonking. Go out there, get yourself a bottle of this, because it's brilliant. It's got such a wham of everything. Super big hit of milk chocolate flavours, super big hit of roasted flavours, super big hit of coffee, and a nice, oh, oh, just strong and vile bitterness that tears across your tongue. And in this case, it works because it counterbalances everything. Counterbalances all those sweet flavours. Um, oh, this is brilliant. I was I was accosted by my my darling girlfriend who told me this is the one you're going to try tonight because it has chocolate and it has coffee in it. And uh, you know what? She's right, ladies and gents. Women are always right, but she's particularly right in this one. So tell me if you tried this. Tell me what you think of it because it's blooming gorgeous. Um, how old is this one? That's before 10th of the 3rd, 14th, so it's just plus 6 months old. Um, I, I think this one will be prime territory for ageing. Prime territory for ageing. Um, so yeah, like, favourite, comment, subscribe, all of the usual stuff, and um, I'm going to go sit in the corner and be extremely happy with this beer now. And if Hannah thinks she's getting hands on any of it, she is very, very, very wrong. So, cheers.